Hi, my name is George Canari. I'm from Tamiya America, and we are here displaying our new and some current uh, products for the 2017 IPMS National Convention. Before us right now is the Honda African Twin. This model was uh, released in conjunction with Tamiya's 50th anniversary at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Following down the line here, we have our Honda NSX. This model kit was released in um, the early, latter part of 2016. And in 2016, we also released the Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Following these models, we have our excellent and very prolific 148 scale military miniatures. We have the Sturm Tiger, which was released uh, earlier this year, as well as the German Elephant. In um, 2016 of last year, we released the Japanese Type 10 tank and also the Japanese light armored vehicle. And this year, something special for the show, we have uh, brought a test shot of the M1A2 Abrams in 48 scale. So this model will be uh, available with retail hobby stores in um, October of uh, this year. So if you're uh, looking for this particular model, please come down to your uh, hobby store in your city and town and they should have it available. Moving down the line over here is our 35th scale military miniatures, starting off with the M40 self-propelled gun. This kit was released in uh, the latter part of 2016. And moving down the line here, we have our um, Vermark crew set and also the Brumbar. The Brumbar will be uh, released in August of this year and you should see it in uh, retail stores uh, fairly shortly. Now we have the Matilda, which was um, part of the, the Lend Lease. So this kit was uh, released uh, earlier this year and then it is, um, has additional parts from our earlier um, British Matilda, but the additional parts are represented in the olive drab colors. Earlier this year, uh, we released um, the highly anticipated uh, Valentine, and that's been well received with modelers uh, in the world and in the United States. And then moving into our, our 16 scale big uh, tank scale, we have the Yacht um, Panther, which is a uh, tank destroyer. And this was originally released um, as a radio control version. Now we have taken all the electronics out and made it available in, as an inexpensive uh, static model. One highly anticipated uh, model to expect next month will be the 16th scale M1A2 Abrams. This scale model will also be uh, made available in radio control later this year and you can expect to see that in the hobby stores in October. The scale model or display model will be available uh, next month. Moving down the line here, we have our Bot Corsair F4U-1D. It's a very popular aircraft. This aircraft will be available in September in hobby stores, so uh, come down and check it out. In 48 scale, we have um, several uh, releases here. The famous F-14A Tomcat. This model is representative of uh, BF-84, the Jolly Rogers. This kit was released last year and has been highly successful um, worldwide and in the US. So you can expect to uh, see these, uh, or this model, in um, hobby stores in your uh, town or city. And then we have the Kawasaki Ki-61 Hyann. This model was released in November of 2016 as part of Tamiya Fair. Tamiya Fair is a um, 
gathering in uh, Shizuoka City, Japan, where Tamiya highlights new products and also conducts the Tamiya World Championships. The Tamiya World Championships is an RC event where Tamiya America hosts the Tamiya Championship Series and where RC drivers have, a, have an opportunity to compete, win the national championship, and represent um, the U.S. at the World uh, Championships in Japan in November. Now we have the 700 scale uh, Shimakaze, and this is a wireline scale model. It's available in hobby stores um, now since we have started shipping this uh, model uh, uh, this uh, month. Look forward to uh, releasing more uh, new releases, and please enjoy first in quality around the world. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Hi, my name is Jeff Johnston. I'm the creative services manager at uh, Squadron. Uh, we're here at the uh, IPMS Nationals in Omaha, Nebraska, um, and you know, having a good time with uh, meeting familiar faces and new people. Um, and anyway, <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Jeff Zwevel. I'm also a Jeff. Um, I am the chief modeler at uh, Squadron. Uh, Squadron is uh, basically renowned for. Uh, being one of the biggest wholesalers in the hobby industry as far as plastic models in the business. We've been in business since 1968, so next year we're going to celebrate our 50th anniversary. So what we basically do is uh, we uh, wholesale, wholesale and distrib distribute uh, plastic models. So um, if you ever, uh, as a kid, uh, uh, grew up doing plastic models, uh, this is what we. That this is our main core. We also have uh, a publishing part of the business, uh, which is uh, Squadron Signals for all, for you guys out there that do uh, plastic models or do any kind of hobby. Uh, we also publish. We also are um, the first one uh, that introduced mail order uh, to, in in this industry. So for the guys uh, that are a little older, they probably remember 1968 when Squadron was founded. So next year, in 2018, we will have our 50th anniversary. Uh, we also try to uh, introduce or uh, at least try to reintroduce the hobby to, younger, to a younger public. And that's our main, our, main, uh, our main target, is to reach younger people so this hobby can be passed on. One of the few things we're trying out here, uh, like as I mentioned before, to reintroduce the hobby to a younger public, we came out recently with these, uh, we call them the pre-painted kit. So it's a very, very detailed model. If you could help, help me out a little bit here. It's a very detailed model, but it's also made for a younger, a younger uh, public where they really don't want to... I mean, if they're not used to building a model, uh, in this case, it's like a snap tight. It's a really well detailed model. It's very accurate, but it's already pre-painted. Uh, there is hardly any glue involved. If somebody wants to get back into the hobby, this is also a stepping stone uh, just to get familiar again. Again, you don't have to uh, paint these, uh, these models. You don't have to decal them. They're ready to use and you get immediate result. Uh, you don't need a lot of tools to do this. But this is one of the things that we do. We have a, a whole line of those. Uh, next to it, uh, maybe you can explain a little bit about the Hanabu that we are doing. Yeah, we're very proud of our first uh, uh, fully tooled uh, uh, model kits, the German Flying Saucer Hanabu 2 that uh, we had out since uh, around February. Um, it's a really neat uh, story behind it. There's, you know, some theories that, uh, you know, the, the Nazis had, you know, they were going to fly into space and come back <laughs> in later years. So there are actually plans that were developed that they found that uh, the showed the, the Hanabu itself. This being the Hanabu 2, it's probably like, it's one of the, a mid-sized one because there's actually like the Hanabu 3 was the, like the mothership. So this uh, this is in the 72nd scale, So, you, but it's quite a nice size uh, even at that scale. Um, you know, f a nice interior inside that comes out. Um, you know, you build all around it. And we're gonna be working on also a, a civilian version, like a what if, if, uh, you know, World War II had ended <laughs> differently. It'd be like more like a, a civilian airline uh, uh, plans for it as well. So 
very uh, happy with that. But again, um, our main our main core, uh, not our main core, but our main goal is to really uh, try to make this hobby uh, like a mo lot more interesting and. Uh, a lot of our co-workers uh, are modelers themselves, so, so it's, a, it's a company that is run by modelers and for modelers. So we hope to do that for a very long time, as I mentioned before. Next year it's going to be our 50th anniversary and we got a lot of stuff planned. We also have, once a year we do, we have our own contest. Uh, it's a smaller scale like we have, like the IPMS convention here, but it's more, um, it's more like a family gathering. Uh, where all the, 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 the modelers are be becoming, modelers becoming our friends and family and, and that's where they gather. It's called Eagle Quest uh, and it takes place, so what is it, in June, uh, mid-June. So that's another thing we do uh, just to promote this hobby.